Hello, I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to measure your wheel bolt pattern on just about any vehicle. If it's, it's a six lug, eight lug, five lug, I'm gonna show you how to measure that. So come with me and stay tuned. So to measure your bolt pattern, you're gonna need a good quality tape measure or a, uh, a, a micrometer like this one here. These are really cheap. I'll link this up in the description of the video. What we got here is a eight bolt pattern uh, wheel spacer here for a wheel. And I'll show you how to do it on this. This will give me a good measurement. So my micrometer is not quite large enough to go across. So we're gonna use on this application, we're gonna use a tape measure. So you're gonna measure from the center of the stud and you're gonna go all the way across and measure the center of the stud. So in this case here, we got a a six and a half inch measurement. So this is eight by six and a half. So this is how you measure for a even amount of studs. So such as the eight or a six lug wheel. So it's an even amount of studs. You're gonna measure from the center to the center of the other stud on the opposite side. And that'll give us our bolt pattern. A five lug or a three lug is a little bit different. And I'll show you how to measure that in just a second. So if this happened to be a six, stud you would do the same thing you would just measure from cross to cross from center to center and that'll give you so it'll be a six by eight and a, or six and a half and since this is a uh, eight eight lug this is eight by six and a half so i hope that makes sense to you so when you got an odd number such as a five bolt pattern or a three wheel bolt pattern you're not going to measure from in from the middle to the middle what you're going to do is measure the correct way to do it is measure from the middle of one stud to the outside of another stud. On a five lug pattern, it's a little bit different the way you measure. So on, on a uh, even number uh, pattern, you would measure from center to center. But since it's an odd number, you're gonna measure from the center of one to the outside edge of the other one here. So I'm using a micrometer here. And as you can see, this is exactly five inches. This is a five on five lug pattern here. <laughs> So I like to use the micrometer versus the uh, the tape measure because it's a little easier to see how this has a hump here. So it's a little easier to uh, to measure it. And also, if you notice, I took the lug nuts off on here to measure this. So it gives you a little bit more accurate versus you know trying to measure to the outside of a lug nut. So you want to measure from the stud outside of the stud to the out to the middle here. So measuring something like this where you have to float the uh, the tape measure and kind of eyeball it from here to here you know it can be a little difficult so I like to use the uh, I like to use the micrometers plus if you want to switch it from uh, so you can zero it out and then when you measure if you want it in inches or, or metric you can just push a button right here and that'll switch it so if you're doing something where you need them need a metric number all you have to do is push the button and you can convert it from inches to metric. I'll link this up in the description of the video. So on the back of my Jeep here is a, it only has three lugs. So you can imagine this as a three wheel lug. Um, it could be a trailer, it could be a, a, a wheelbarrow. You know, it might have three lugs. So if you want to measure it, you're going to measure from, since it's an odd number, you're going to measure from the center of one stud to the outside of one stud like that and this would be a three by five inch uh, wheel pattern so that's how you measure your lug nut bolt pattern if you don't have a micrometer or a good quality uh, tape measure i will link them up in the description of the video i'm brian Esser from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching encourage you to subscribe invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this thank you again for watching i want to introduce you to my helpers here Right here we got Pebbles, we got Bambi, Dolly, and Izzy, and then right over here in the background here is Sasha. So if you heard all that noise in the background, that's what you're hearing.